I'm, I'm interested in not just healthcare reform, but improving the quality of healthcare delivery. I, I'm interested in performance improvement, uh, process improvement. I'm interested in measuring what doesn't work and then coming up with constructive ways to improve the system, both for providers as well as, as patients. You know, I'm interested in making hospitals a safe place to go, uh, that you can get in and out and you get the right procedure, you get the right surgery, you get the right medication, uh, that you don't face things like decubitus ulcers or um, accidental falls or things that can happen once you're in a hospital. So that's probably the, the core of, of where I am. Uh, I believe as a nation, uh, really it's a human rights issue that every citizen has health care insurance. You know, we're the largest, richest country in the world in terms of health care delivery. And, uh, you know, the care we provide just objectively looking is not as good as other countries. Uh, there's a reason for that. The money is in the system. It's how do we spend the money, I think, in a better way. Ensure people, uh, make sure what we do is the right thing, you know, for the patient. And again, I think we face, in my opinion, what is a human rights issue. You, you know, I think it's, to me, it's beyond a political issue. You know, it's how do we treat U.S. citizens? Uh, you know, this is us. You know, so how do we, how we treat our citizens I think reflects on us on the world stage. So if, if we're saying we're, we are the biggest, we're the best, we spend the most money, then why aren't our outcomes as good as France or, or England or Canada or Costa Rica? Uh, you know, and I think we have to take a good hard look at how to fix the system so that people who need insurance will have it, so that people have peace of mind knowing they have health insurance coverage. Uh, and at the same time, um, control costs, um, improve quality, improve access, uh, and give people, you know, what uh, IHI, Institute of Healthcare Improvement, would call you know, a medical home. You know, something that's patient-centered, you know, not driven by uh, what the insurance companies think is the best thing, but something that is designed for the patient in cooperation with the medical providers, be that nurses, physicians, nutritionists, whoever's on that team, you know, that people have a medical home to go to. And then care is directed, it's comprehensive, it may not be the Cadillac, uh, but it's the things that work. We're spending trillions now on health care. Uh, I think there's a disparity in where the money goes. And we got to take a long, hard look at that as physicians, as patients, uh, as commercial insurance, as government. And I think part of that also is, is on the patients to say, hey, you know, you may not get the latest, greatest, newest medicine, but there's a generic medicine that works just as well. Uh, so in order to, to limit costs, let's go with generics. You know, a uh, person may see uh, the latest, greatest test in some magazine. You may not be able to get that test because it's not indicated. There's no proof that it's going to change anything. You know, so I think there's a lot of places to look that you can carve out savings and at the same time, um, maintain good quality and, and increase access to care for people that you know, at this point uh, have a difficult time with access and we end up taking care of the downstream problems. So, you know, we have the system that's chronic disease management um, oriented. It's not prevention oriented. You know, so what we do in primary care is do chronic disease management. We don't get paid for prevention. We don't have the time in the day, you know, to spend 30 minutes on prevention when we're dealing with chronic diseases. So I think one shift in the system has to be back towards uh, preventive medicine, knowing that the rewards for that is gonna be years away. But at some point we gotta say, um, we gotta focus more on prevention, we gotta focus more on uh, patient education, uh, health promotion, uh, and we gotta put resources up front.